is a whole world of natural beauty. And we plan to capture it all for the Care Channel and Relax With Care. Join us on our mission to bring relaxation to everyone who needs it. We did the hike up to Eagle Lake, which you can see right behind me here. It's a beautiful location. It's one of those ones where you can get up there and knock it out in an hour or so. There's only so many different things you can shoot of it, but it's a beautiful hike in Desolation Wilderness, and it's just a nice, picturesque alpine lake, and you can't quite see here, but you have a couple different peaks, peak behind me. So Ford set up and did his drone stuff, the wide from this side. I hiked around the lake and shot back the other way. I got a particularly uh, really cool shot uh, with the drone because there's a little sand island in the middle of this lake with a couple of trees on it and I was able to take the drone and fly it right between those trees. It was a really cool dramatic shot. I was really happy with that one. This is what happens when you get old and drone technology gets better. As you let the drone do the hike and Pretty soon we'll be able to just put in GPS coordinates. It's gonna have perfect yeah. obstacle avoidance. And maybe this is what happens is eventually we don't have to do it. We just make the drone do it. The drone's taking pictures for me. <laughs> I love you drone face. We've got drones now. Drones are the friends of the old man. So came back around and just decided to fly my drone on up and uh, made it to the other side and got some great Great shots of the in the waterfall. Also, Ryan flies his drone weird. He doesn't put the joysticks on. It, it gives me better control. You can see quiet. <laughs> see, I'm gonna do he just this. puts his thumbs on the circles and moves them around. I think it is the way the way that I shoot. It just helps me get better control. I always lose control. That's fine. I'm just saying it's weird. You're weird. Oh, 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 oh. What's going on? I don't like that. What is happening? I don't know. Just uh, freaking out. I don't know if that was wind. Should I take it back? Well, it stopped. I think you maybe just got hit with some wind. That scared me very much so. we go back in the settings. I don't like this. All right. This is the year you're allowed to crash this drone, by the way. No, because I have all my footage from the last three days on there. I haven't downloaded my crash. Oh. Don't do that. I made it. Got some really nice shots of the waterfall that I was too old and lazy to hike to. It was really cool to kind of get footage like that because we've been focusing on Tahoe so much. I think we have a thousand shots of Tahoe. So we really did kind of want to break it up and get some other kinds of landscape. So mountain lake, uh, evergreen trees, um, and a mountain in the background. Uh, it was really what we needed. One of our goals on this trip was not only to get epic sunsets, but we don't have as much footage of like really great sunrises. Um, we get them here and there when we go on shoots, but Tahoe is kind of a special location, so we knew we could probably get a really good special mo um, morning segment here. Here we go. Final morning, final sunrise. Ball 30. Get up at 4.30 in the morning, we're driving, it's still dark, and we park on the side of the road uh, to hike to Baldwin Beach. The only reason we're parking on the side of the road and hiking to the beach is because this beach doesn't actually open to the public until 8 a.m. So we wanted a sunrise segment, so we had to get here at around 5 a.m. So that required us to kind of just, you know, do some urban hiking. 
final morning, final sunrise here at Baldwin Beach. At the uh, Care Channel, we shoot sunrise and sunset because the channel is a 24 hour channel that helps with the circadian rhythm of patients. So the channel actually transitions from a star field uh, through a morning segment, a sunrise to daytime, to a sunset segment in the evening, back to uh, nighttime star field. It's one of the, the biggest uh, components of the care channel that makes it different from all our competitors. So it's something we take a lot of pride in and something that really helps out the uh, patients in the hospital. Another really, really cold morning, really freezing morning, but we had the whole place to ourselves and we were able to capture the sun coming up over the hills and we got some really cool colors on the horizon. The horizon actually turned red for a moment, which I thought was really cool. 